Unlock the Secrets of English Pronunciation, a Guide to Phonetic Symbols. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our journey of learning English. Today, we're going to unlock the mysteries of English pronunciation and focus specifically on how we can use phonetic symbols, dictionaries, and online resources for pronunciation practice. Understanding these tools can dramatically improve your English accent and fluency. So, let's dive in. Now, you may be wondering, what are phonetic symbols? Well, phonetic symbols are visual representations of the sounds made in speech. They're used in dictionaries and other resources to provide a precise and universal way to describe how words are pronounced. This means, no matter what your native language is, you can use these symbols to accurately pronounce English words. But here's the catch, phonetic symbols might seem strange and new at first. For example, have you ever noticed those little symbols next to words in the dictionary? That's phonetic transcription. Don't worry if they look confusing, with practice, they'll become your best friends in mastering English pronunciation. Dictionaries, both physical and online, are indispensable tools for pronunciation practice. They provide word meanings, but more importantly for us today, they provide phonetic transcriptions. These transcriptions tell you exactly how to pronounce a word. Next time when you're not sure about the pronunciation of a word, look it up in a dictionary. Find the phonetic transcription. Try to mimic the sounds represented by the symbols. Over time, you'll become familiar with more and more symbols and sounds. This will help you to pronounce new words accurately without even hearing them first. In this digital age, Online resources provide a vast playground for language learners. There are numerous apps and websites where you can hear the pronunciation of words and practice them. These online platforms usually provide an audio recording along with the phonetic transcription. By listening to the audio and following along with the transcription, you can work on your listening skills, understand how each phonetic symbol sounds in real speech, and practice reproducing these sounds. You can also use speech recognition tools available on some platforms to record and play back your own speech. This way, you can compare your pronunciation to the standard one and make necessary adjustments. That's all for today, folks. We've covered phonetic symbols, how to use dictionaries for pronunciation practice, and how online resources can further support your learning. With these tools, you can surely conquer the challenges of English pronunciation and become a more confident English speaker. Remember, pronunciation practice is not a one-time thing. It's a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to your goal. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll see improvements in your accent and fluency. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.